father spent nearly $65,000 to run a full-page ad in today's Washington Post to push police to reopen their investigation into his son's death. Michael Bell Jr. was shot and killed by officers back in 2004. According to the Washington Post, police shot and killed almost 1,000 civilians in 2017. So far this year, police have used deadly force against 86 civilians. 48 Hours correspondent Aaron Moriarty spoke to Bell's father about why he does not think his son's death was justified. Aaron, good morning. Good morning. If you open the Washington Post today, you might wonder about this full-page ad that you certainly can't miss. It was placed by a grieving father willing to pay any price to clear his son's name. Police reports say Michael Bell Jr. was drunk and uncooperative when he was pulled over by cops early on the morning of November 9, 2004. This police reenactment is based on officer accounts. There was a scuffle. Cops finally had Bell in a hold over a car in the family's driveway when suddenly Officer Eric Strasbaugh yelled, he has my gun. He calls out that he has my gun. He's panicked and it was a very high pitched, very emotional voice. Another cop rushed in and shot the young man in the head. He died about three hours later. Unless you've gone through it, it's a degree of suffering that nobody else can understand. After three days, the Kenosha police chief declared Bell's death a justifiable homicide, but that didn't make sense to his dad. When the Bell family sued the Kenosha Police Department for the unlawful use of deadly force, they discovered that the stories of the four officers involved didn't match witness statements from family and neighbors or medical evidence. As seen in the police reenactment, the officer who fired the shot, Alberto Gonzalez, said he was positioned to the left of Bell and couldn't see if Bell had a gun. Is it tough to come back here? Oh, I'm right now, I'm emotional and I'm, I'm really feeling it. Bell's dad disputes that account. This photo recreates what Bell thinks happened based on those witnesses at the scene. It shows that Gonzalez was positioned between Bell and Strasbaugh. And in fact, the autopsy shows Bell was shot on the right side of his head, not the left. Yeah. Bell's attorneys confronted the officers with the evidence in pretrial depositions. Is it still your testimony under oath that Officer Gonzalez had his gun pressed against the left side of Michael Bell's head when he shot? Yes. You found out that what the police were saying couldn't have happened Never. Yeah. because of the medical evidence. That's right, because of the medical examiner's report. Just days before the case was going to trial, the city settled the case for $1.75 million. This is Still not satisfied, Bell hired Russell Beckman, a retired Kenosha police detective, to take a closer look at what might have happened the morning Bell Jr. was shot. There was the scuffle. It was right here upon this car. Beckman discovered something that appears to have either been missed or ignored in the original police investigation. A broken mirror at the center of the police scuffle. He demonstrated his theory using an unloaded gun and a police holster similar to the one Officer Strasbaugh was wearing. The gun comes in contact with the mirror and gets caught in the jacket gap. Bell now believes it was the mirror, not his son, tugging at Officer Strasbaugh's belt. But when he asked county, state, and federal officials to take a new look, he got nowhere. Michael Gravely, the Kenosha County District Attorney, says the chances of bringing charges against any of the officers has passed. I think the simplest explanation here is that officers um, uh, were uh, candid at the beginning of this process. I hope that Officer Strasbaugh uh, would have reported if his, uh, if his holster had been caught. More than 13 years after his son's death, this former military pilot still soldiers on. Nobody understands uh, what it takes to get to this level, to bring this kind of awareness to it. The best way to describe it is that it's my duty. Bell may not get a new independent review, but others will because of a billboard campaign that he conducted. Wisconsin is now the only state that requires an independent investigation after a police shooting, a law that he believes should be enacted nationwide. And I just want to make one other point. It's not just the families of the person shot who suffer. So do the officers involved. In 2010, the officer who said Bell had been tugging at his gun, Eric Strasbaugh, 
took his own life. We reached out to Kenosha Police Department, but no one there responded to our request for comment. It's heartbreaking all the way around, but you feel for the family when you have the police officer saying, look, I know he was shot on the left side, but the physical evidence shows that he was clearly shot on the right and side. And they and all really stuck with it. Well, they stuck with it, and I don't think you would have that large of, at that time, it was a very large uh, settlement mm -hmm. if, in fact, they thought they could win in it's court. Okay, Aaron, thanks. Thank you. The battle over immigration was one big reason behind the recent government shutdown. Ahead, our focus